Good morning. This is Miss Norma, and it's Monday. Back to work. The weekend's over with. How's everyone today? I pray that your weekend went well. And this morning, may the Lord order our steps for the beginning of a brand new week. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you this morning, Lord, for your blessing and your healing to all our land. Lord, lots of things took place over the weekend, Lord. Some of it was jubilant and joyous and other and other items, other things may have um, changed our perspective or even just changed our lives, Father. So I ask, oh God, for your blessing and your healing in all things. I ask for your continued care and your watch over us. And Father, once again, I present our children to you. I ask that, Lord, as we join hand, hands collectively through this venue on my YouTube channel and other uh, prayer groups that we belong to, that we will remember our children. Lord and Father, remember those who are sick amongst us, those who may be going under the knife this morning or some other type of medical or intervention process. Bless and heal our land, O oh God, and keep us, Abba Father, for surely we cannot keep ourselves. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Good morning. Our reading today for April the 25th is entitled Ramon. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. 1 Corinthians 3, 13, verse 4, New International Version. Mrs. Cameron, the head teacher, stood in my doorway. Miss, Was Miss Watkins, I want to know what you have done to Ramon. The government-sponsored program for preschoolers was new to our location. Excuse me, correction. Miss Watkins, I want to know what you have done to Ramon. Okay. The government-sponsored program for preschoolers was new to our location. As a college student desperately needing a summer job, I had applied and had been hired, but was the only person of my ethnicity in the program. In the Deep South in the early 60s, racial prejudice for many ran deep. I prayed to God, I prayed to have God's love for everyone, whoever they were. Mrs. Cameron, I quietly said, I guess I don't know what you mean about Ramon. She smiled. You're doing mighty fine, girl, she began. But what is your secret in dealing with Ramon? He's such a live wire. We assigned him to your room because the rest of us knew him all too well. What's your secret? I wanted to tell her that I prayed a lot. Instead, I teased, maybe it's my color or lack of it. And we both laughed. Often on the playground, I would feel a small sweaty hand squeeze into mine. Looking down, I would see Ramon gazing up at me and grinning from ear to ear. We'd swing our arms, laughing and fun. The last week of school came. Ramon fidgeted on his resting map. I went over to him. Teacher, he said quietly, why do you love me? Ramon, you're a nice little boy. It's not hard to love you. I wish my mom and dad loved me like you do, he said quietly. But they fuss and fight and even hit me sometimes. Tears filled both his eyes and mine. I whispered into his little ear, Ramon, there's a God in heaven who loves you very much. Let's ask him to help your home 
be a happy one. Ramon appeared to relax. Hopefully, he had seen through me that God's love is patient, is kind. Despite any differences between others and us, may heaven's kindness characterize all of our interactions with everyone. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Our reading this morning was written by Mary Beth Giselle. Amen. Let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you, Lord, for this reading on Ramon this morning. We thank you, Lord, for our young teacher's <clears throat> loving kindness and acceptance, Lord, made the difference in one little boy's life. And Father, it's apparent that this story is from someone who is older, possibly in their maybe 70s or 80s, Lord, and are sharing this story with us today. And sadly, Lord, there are still some racial divides and other things that are going on in the world today and in our communities. So I ask, oh God, that for each and every one of us, that might have a Ramon in our lives. It doesn't always have to be in a teaching format. It could be living within your home. It could be a grandson, a granddaughter, uh, your next door neighbor. But whoever, Lord, we pray today for the Ramones of this world. We pray for the healing of their soul. And we pray for somebody's loving kindness, Lord, to reach them. Lord, I don't know where Ramon is today, but Father, if there is a blessing that he still stands in need of. Right now, Abba Father, as we have shared and read this, read this story this morning, bless him and thank you for Mary Beth Giselle who shared such a loving story out to us, us this morning. In Jesus' name I pray and I thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Amen and amen again. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, Father, continue to reign in our lives. R-A-I-N and R-E-I-G-N. Reign, reign, reign. Blessed is your name, Abba Father. Amen. Well, this ends our little time this morning. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed day. And by his grace, I will see you on tomorrow morning. The blessing of a fruitful day, a wonderful day. Blessings of strength and fortitude to meet your day. But most of all, Lord, may we accept the ordering of our steps, of you ordering our steps today. Amen, amen, and amen again. Don't forget, songs, songs, songs. Check out the list. It's growing. <laughs> I'm telling you, check out the list. Enjoy. Have a blessed day, everyone. This is Miss Norma signing off. Amen. Mwah.